won. George W. Bush. You Got know, a 90% approval rating in the month after 9-11. And his popularity rating after only being in office a few months was going under 50%. And then it shot before. back up. Exactly. Go back to Turkey. Go back. You asked me what their end game is. And I'm saying to you, these are sick people. They're megalomaniacs. Sure, so to stay in power, and he's basically a dictator. That's the minute he stole the election. To stay in power, he's starting a war with Russia. Not a very good idea. He is a sicko. Exactly. And you don't, you don't poke the Russian bear. Anybody thinks they're going to defeat Russia. I, yeah, you did a great job in Afghanistan. Oh, a wonderful job in Iraq. Hey, Syria. You know, I was thinking of going to Tripoli for my vacation. Uh, Libya, rather. Syria destroying it. And it's one mess after another. So you're going to fight Russia? You have to be out of your mind. And then Obama the gets up in grandstands and says Russia is causing the problems in Syria. This is totally Again, an inversion of reality. And then we see Halan saying, I protect you from terrorists by banning free speech across France and then arresting his enemies when he's the guy that brought the radical jihadis in. It's so ridiculous. Yes. And you, know, you mentioned about the United States supporting the radical people that then become our enemies. Did anyone forget little Jimmy Carter and the Mujahideen, those freedom fighters and then through Reagan? to get those uh, Russians out of Afghanistan? And who was the Mujahideen? Wasn't it a guy named uh, Bin Laden was a member of that group? That's right, stay there. I want to look at the economy. I want to give the number out and take some calls and go wherever you want to go with Gerald Salente on this live Tuesday, December 1st, 2015 Global Transmission. I want to break something down. The globalist social engineers they engage in hypocrisy openly to break our will and condition us like you titrate the dose of cobra poison if you work with cobras at a zoo or you work at a facility extracting anti-venom, you're going to get bit. And so the people that work at those facilities slowly give themselves the different toxins, the neurotoxins, the other toxins that snakes uh, can put off until you can take a huge cobra bite and not die in 30 seconds or two minutes, uh, you know, like a 20-foot king cobra would do to you because it pumps so much of it into you, it's so deadly. And, but this is not having a dosage of poison titrated so that we actually can survive. This is conditioning us to where we just put up with tyranny and get used to anything and everything and basically end up in a totally captured position. And on a first-class flight on American Airlines to be on The View, I've told this story many times, like six, seven years ago, there was the head of one of the big five banks. And I said, why aren't you flying, you know, your own private jet? And he goes, I was seeing my dad, retired general down in San Antonio, and whatever. I just don't like to mess with the private jets. I get on them sometimes for corporate stuff. And by the end of the plane ride, about an hour into it, we didn't talk much. He goes, you're Alex Jones. And then he was just basically telling me, you're going to fail. We're going to win. People are going to adapt, but not to resisting our takeover. They're going to adapt to us enslaving them. And people said, well, why don't you tell us his name? He said, this is an off-record discussion. He's told me what a failure I was and how pathetic I was and how they were going to win. He was super confident, super evil, super in my face. It, and, and then I wouldn't stop talking to him, and he kind of just said, hey, I'm done talking to you. But he said, private corporations will take over all governments. We will run the world. We know how to handle it best. And I was like, but you're wrecking the economies and then saying you're handling them best. Last night I was watching History Channel after this Donald Trump special they had, and they had this whole show about how great the robber barons were and how great the Rockefellers were and how they built America and how they love us how they took over medicine. And of course, I know the real history. On record, it's horrible what they've done. For, they, they funded Hitler, for heaven's sakes. They didn't get into altruism. They didn't get into being philanthropists because they wanted to give away their money. They made their money tax-exempt in foundations and paid no taxes. Just like Bill and Melinda Gates. It's a known scam. Their wealth's only gotten bigger. 
It was like 80 billion, and they gave like 60 billion, and now that 60 billion is over 100 billion, and they've got another 80, 90 billion just right. I mean, who was that famous billionaire lady? She said, Taxes, rich people don't pay taxes. That's actually true. You make $200,000 a year, the average blue collar worker thinks you're rich. You pay 40% federal. But you make billions a year, you basically pay nothing. They got it all worked out. We're going back to Gerald Salente. 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231 is your chance as first-time callers. We're doing, we're doing a few calls for Gerald Salente. First-time callers to bring up subjects, trends, questions, comments you have. 800-259-9231. I want to get into the economy, other big trends he sees, the election. But first, very briefly, we have free shipping that was going to end yesterday. I've just decided it's so popular. People like it so much. I want to introduce you to the products, all the great items we have, non-GMO seeds, high-quality water filters, incredible nutraceuticals, colloidal silver, two-ounce bottles, nine ninety-five, the highest quality, brain force, living defense, huge specials across the board, That I'm just going to keep it going until December 18th. And I promise it will end then because sales historically go down so low that we can't take the shipping off, we then lose money. And can't even run the operation. But when we get a lot of orders, we can actually lower prices. That's how economies work. Booming economies basically raise all ships. And so we've got amazing deals. We've got 25% off super male vitality that does end at midnight tonight because it's going to sell out in the next few days. 995 silver bullet, 30% off X2 nascent iodine, 30% off brain force, 30% off DNA force, 30% off secret 12, vitamin B12, 20% off InfoWars select storable food, and more. And these specials phase out as the week goes through. Those different specials will be over. The three shipping, I've decided to extend it. Infowarslife.com, Infowarsstore.com, or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We've added a lot of other amazing items as well. And it's your purchase that makes this entire broadcast and everything we do possible. So we salute you and thank you because Infowars is now having a bigger effect every day. Quite frankly, it's scary how awake people are getting, the responsibility we have. And it is because of you spreading the word and you supporting this operation. You have helped build this operation. So I want to salute you and thank you. Now, going back to Gerald Salente from TrendsResearch.com and the Trends Research Center up there in Kingston, New York, where basically the Constitutional Republic started I want to just get, in general, his views on a bunch of topics, what he's researching, what the new trends are, where the economy's going, uh, and so much more, and then some of your phone calls. Gerald Salente. Well, thanks, Alex. First, I want to thank you for having me on, and to also thank you and your team for what you're doing. Thank you. You know, there's that wonderful quote from Samuel Adams, it does not take a majority to prevail, rather an irate tireless minority keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. And InfoWars does that. And all the people that you have with you that are out there and behind you and yourself. And there's that other great quote when people wonder what can they do and they're not doing anything from Andrew Jackson. And he said, one courageous man makes them a majority, or words to that effect. So one man, one courageous man or woman is a majority. And I also, in listening to the products and that, you're, that you're offering to your listeners, they're all high quality. When you have everything out there that's killing us with these, with these GMOs, with all these other things that are poisoning us on a daily basis, and I, I think that you know that I also have an honorary doctorate in integrative and complementary medicine from the National University of Health Sciences. So I'm into this for a lot of years. And it's very important not that people only buy these products and use them for themselves, but to also to support what you're doing so that you can let the voice of freedom ring. Because as people know that are tuned in to InfoWars, Six corporations control 90% of all of the media. And the George Soros-run Media Matters admits they want to shut us down. They want to shut Drudge down and others 
like World Net Daily yourself down. They don't want any other voices because you've always talked about the new renaissance and people shopping local, people supporting liberty-based organizations. That's what the internal Clinton files that uh, folks sued and got showed. They were worried in the early 90s about the rise of new media. They want a monopoly. And you've spoken so much about people voting with their dollars changing the world. Well, you saw it with these Christmas sales that just came out. You know, Black Friday. What a terrible name. A black. How can you put anything, you know, about shopping for Christmas? But anyway, you know, there used to be about this guy Jesus. Had something to do with that. But now it's all about shopping. Anyway, there was a big resurgence, according to the latest reports that came out, in people shopping local. And that's not making much of the news. So going on to the other trends, but again, I want to encourage everybody to support what you're doing because it's not only about keeping the voice out there ringing, but also buying products that are going to help you live a healthy life. Absolutely. And that's, and that's one of the big trends that we're looking at, by the way, is the new trends, top trends for 2016 are coming out. One of them's artful aging. Baby boomers aren't babies no more. The leading edge of us are going to going to be 70 years old in 2016. When you look at the trends, is it, there, America and most countries, it's a first, second, and third world nation. Only a small percentage of people are going to get it and try to do everything they can not to end up as inmates in nursing homes which again goes back to the products that you're selling and so many others in local businesses and buy local and the anti-GMO trends. So what we're saying is, even though it's going to be a minority, when you're in a country of what, 315 million people plus, a minority is a big number. And you have 70, what, 8 million baby boomers that are now reaching 70 years old? This is a huge market. Where do you go to for longevity centers to live healthy lives? Where are you going to go? Are you going to call it a day? You know, where the courthouse is right across the street here. And I ask people, you know, how do you like your job? Three years, five months, and six days. In other words, they gave up their lives for security. Now they don't have to. So you're going to become the person you said you were or could have been. Artful aging is a huge trend. Physical, emotional, spiritual, I'm not talking about religious. People that tie into that, that's going to be a big one. On the economic front, look at the data coming out. Current events form future trends. The Manufacturers Purchasing Managers Index came out today. It's well below 50%. It has to be above 50 to show growth. Below 40 shows decline. Not only decline here, but it came out last night over in China. There's indexes down again. Now you put, start putting things together. On Thursday, the European Union is going to, the, the, the European Central Bank is going to announce whether or not they're going to go lower into negative interest rates and more quantitative easing. Then come back to the states. They're going to have to raise interest rates at some point. Most people, the majority in both the financial and the commodities end, are believing that the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates maybe 25 basis points, which means nothing. It means a lot because over in Europe, if they go into more negative interest rates, you're seeing the euro decline under a dollar five to a dollar. What does that mean? Well, it means the people in Europe, it's going to cost them more to buy everything. But not only that, as their currencies decline, it's going to be a lot worse in the emerging markets. Because as the dollar gets stronger, all these emerging markets that boosted up when they had all this quantitative easing and borrowed all that cheap money in dollars, their currencies are crashing. And they have to pay back this huge debt with declining currencies against rising dollars. So we're in the face of the top trend 
the 2016 is a global recession. We'll look at gold prices. It has a total.